Hi, I'm Shelly Levette with childcareland.com and today I want to share with you how many jelly beans. This is a great estimation activity for math and thinking skills. Um, you will need to have some kind of a container and jelly beans that you'll put into them. This is just a cheap plastic container that I purchased from a, a discount store and I sealed the top here so it couldn't be open. And then on the top of that I made a circle that said how many jelly beans on here and I just used my Xyron sticker maker to stick that on but you certainly don't have to do anything like that. The important thing is to have your jelly beans in a jar. Because I work with younger children I didn't fill my jar up completely. I wanted the children to be able to move the jelly bean jar around and really get a close look at the jelly beans and, and try to do some counting with them on here. Older students, you may want to fill the jar even fuller. It's, a, you know, it's totally up to you in the um, early learn, learning environment that you're in. So besides the jelly bean jar, um, the children will look at that, spend some time looking at that. This is in a math center. I also have in a basket um, some markers and um, a questionnaire sheet, and this is available on my website, childcareland.com underneath the video section for this particular video. And um, you certainly don't have to use these questions either. You can come up with your own. Um, mine just says how many jelly beans are in the jar. And then, um, so they'll try and guess, estimate how many are in here. It says what color jelly beans are there the most of? And so they're gonna spend some time deciding um, between the colors which color there's the most of in the jar. Which one they think there's more purple, is there more orange? And then what color jelly beans are there the least of? And so they're gonna try and figure out in here, is it white, yellow? They'll spend some time looking and trying to guess. And um, for younger children who uh, cannot write the colors out, um, that's fine, I have provided markers that match the colors of the jelly beans. So they could take their slip and then for the colors they could just draw maybe a circle or mark that particular color by those two questions on there. And then once every child has had a turn at this station, um, we come together and then we um, count out the jelly beans, we sort them, and then we find out which ones they're released color of, which one there was the most color of, and then the total of the jelly beans together. We actually do that first, the total of jelly beans, and then we decide which ones had the least and the most. But this is a great activity. Children really enjoy doing it, and it's super easy to set up. And I just love that they, um, they can take the time and look at these and decide and have them move around on here. So, um, four. How many jelly beans? I'm Shelly Levette with childcareland.com. And thanks for watching.